Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out these free assets, the Old Wild West Learning Project that just came out free here on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which comes complete with a very detailed Wild West map. There's a ton of different assets, including, you know, buildings, props, everything you really need to create either a Wild West game scene or environment. These are very high quality assets. So in this video, we're just going to be checking out all of the free assets that you get inside of this pack. Now, first of all, to actually download the pack, all you have to do is go to the Unreal Engine Marketplace under the free. You want to go and click UE Online Learning. Okay. So if you filter by free and filter by UE Online Learning, you're going to see the new old west learning project click on that go ahead and click the free button and create the project so here we are inside of unreal engine 5 and you're gonna to have to ignore the little shadow artifacts there but basically this is a complete level that has a lot of props and level design here and real quickly before we get into the video i just want to tell you about my multiplayer survival game course in this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle, bow, and so much more. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. This course was designed with beginners in mind, so if you are new to game development or Unreal Engine, you can take this entire course. I walk you through step by step and I explain the why behind what we are doing through each lecture. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you will get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of old worn down buildings and you have sort of this railway system. We have a lumber mill over here where it looks like they're processing lumber and I can get in really close and you guys are going to see how exactly how detailed all the props and assets are in here. So I mean you could use this for first person as well as third person because the textures are really great and there's a lot of detail. So like I said every part of this is you know, hand placed and decorated so you get this little map. So inside this barn you know you can see we have hay bales, little kitchen area, and over here is sort of the Wild West, I guess, town square. So yeah, check this out. So we have the gates right here. And we can go ahead and enter in. Comes with this very nice little wagon. And pretty much every single house has, you know, an interior. Obviously, it looks like this one isn't really decorated that much. We have sort of the saloon. So we can go inside of here. And again, these things were designed for interiors, so you can go ahead and decorate this a lot more than what they currently have set up. But as you can see, it's pretty well detailed and, and great for making some sort of Wild West game. So yeah, we have the general store. There's a lot of different props, unique models, and you can see the different signs up there. And I really love the variation you're going to see when we go over the overview map. Just the amount of variety and meshes especially in the buildings that you see here so yeah we go all the way up and you know there's a staircase leads all the way up here to the town hall so in here just very nice that they went ahead and decorated all this you know it comes complete with all the lighting and all that stuff set up but yeah there's a lot of detail in this scene so over here we have sort of this sort of this bridge to cross to the other side we have another little wagon there with some supply crates and things like that over here we have again two more different buildings uh, these look abandoned and rugged so again you're gonna see how many different custom assets and meshes for the buildings that they have included we have a little water tower there and I can kind of zoom out and give you the idea of how big the map is so pretty much, you know, that's the town center right there. And 
These are just, you know, background meshes. So, you know, it's a pretty small to medium size map, but again, it's just very high detailed. Okay, so here's the overview level. So as you can see, there's a lot of different assets and you know, different variations in assets. And we're gonna go over everything. So this content pack comes with just a ton of different stuff. And it's actually over 18 gigabytes in download and unpacked. I can't remember exactly how big this is, but yeah, I wanna start over here. We have, you know, different vegetation. And over here we have some wanted posters, a lot of different sandbags or, you know, potato sacks, whatever you wanna call them. And these hay bales, really high detailed. You're gonna notice that, you know, all the meshes are very realistic. So you can see we have some furniture, including some beds, bed sheets, different cabinets, things like that. Now over here we have a big variety of props. So small props ranging from books to storage crates, barrels. Then back here we have some more different beds, some wagon parts. Up here in the front we have you know, little cans and jars of different food, supplies, cooking utensils. And the neat thing about all these assets, you know, we have different coffins here. I mean, you can use all this stuff for really any type of project. It doesn't have to be, you know, related to the Wild West. Like obviously you could use some of these supply crates, some of the little props and tools for other different projects. Like maybe if you're making some sort of medieval game, there's just a lot of building meshes and wooden meshes that you can use that will fit perfectly in those other projects. So yeah, there's different log pieces here. We have the benches from the town hall, uh, piano, and there's a lot of different tools as well. So you can see you have an ax, saw, chisel, hammer, little furnace there, different types of tables, an old bell, some feeding troughs, things like that. Okay, over here in the back, we have different fences. So like I mentioned before, a lot of variation in the amount of props that they give you. So we have some railroad assets here, straight and curved pieces, intersection pieces, pretty much everything that you need. And we have some different doors. So we have, you know, doors with windows. And I mean, again, there's so many different types that I can't really cover it all in the video. So we have even larger barn doors here, an old crane, some old telephone poles, different type of wooden, you know, spiked walls, stacks of lumber, water tower, and some of the wagons. So it's a really nice high detailed assets. Now, if we go over here, you're gonna notice how many different building props that you have over here. So you're gonna notice right off the bat, there's a ton of wooden architecture. So again, you can use all of these things for a medieval game or something like that. You can use, you know, part of this in some sort of castle or something like that. And again, there's just lots of different variations. So over here we have some barn structures. So we have windows, walls, got various different wooden planks on the ground there different wooden posts, some more floors and things like that, staircase, triangle walls. And over here we have some of the roof pieces. So we have metal roofs, wooden roofs, just a whole variety of different roofing pieces. And of course we have all the different walls, windows, all in a modular fashion so you know you can make your own buildings to your liking we have this really big water wheel and maybe a neat video would be you know trying to make some sort of wooden structure or building with all the assets that you get and i believe on the unreal engine website they have like a course or a training video on using all this stuff to create an environment so if you guys want to check that out i believe they have the link on the marketplace page so yeah, those are all the building assets over here are the different background meshes. So, you know, you place these in the background, scale them up super big. And these are all the mega scans, rocks, you know, grass, vegetation, all that stuff. All the props that you can find on Quixel Bridge. So they're not native to this pack. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff here. So yeah, that is the old west or wild west asset pack on the marketplace just a lot of props and high detailed meshes that you can use in unreal engine either you know to make a game or 
short film, what be it. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. I really like that we're getting a lot of these free asset packs that are permanently free. So it makes my job easier when I'm trying to find high quality assets to use either in a course or a tutorial video on YouTube. It's just a big help and a big resource to have all this stuff readily available and for free. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And if you enjoy the video and the content that I make, check out my survival game course linked in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.